Hello, Bethel Church family. Pastor Dave here. I'm coming to you to address today's news regarding the new provincial COVID-19 health restrictions. Today, the provincial government has announced that all social gatherings are to be temporarily suspended. This includes religious gatherings, meaning that gatherings such as our in-person Sunday services and other meetings at the church building need to be temporarily suspended starting immediately. And I wanted to use this opportunity to address an important issue. Some people may be wondering, are we really going to allow the government to dictate all the decisions of the church? And the answer is, of course not. It's God who directs us and we are ultimately accountable to him. The Bible does teach, however, that we should live in submission to the authorities that God puts above us, including local governments. Even if we don't always agree with those authorities, even if we would do it differently, they only have authority because God has given it to them. Yet our submission to government does have its limits. Reference the book of Daniel for a couple of examples here. Daniel ignored a government mandate that said he wasn't allowed to pray to anyone but the king. Yet in our current situation, the leadership of Bethel Church is in agreement, agreement in what we believe the Holy Spirit is also saying, that our provincial government has made a reasonable request based on the circumstances that we're all facing during this global pandemic. In light of this situation, the request to temporarily shut down in-person activities does not unreasonably restrict our God-given freedoms. And if this is how we can best love our neighbor right now, then we're happy to do it. We will continue to find creative ways to worship God, grow in faith, and show the world who Jesus is, and we'll do this together. That's always been our mission, and will always be our mission. Nothing can stop us from doing that. So I want to encourage you, pick up the phone, call somebody, encourage them, pray with them. If you're in a life group, organize a Zoom meeting. Reach out to your neighbors. Don't let anything stand in the way of loving the people God has put in your life. 1 Thessalonians 5.16 says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, even this one, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. No global pandemic or government restriction can stop you from doing that. So persevere in God's will. And I want to invite you to join me this Sunday for our live stream service. Even though we can't meet in person for at least a couple of weeks, we will still have live stream Sunday services at 11 a.m. each week on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. God is in control. God is with us. And we are in this together. And the best is still yet to come.